Hey, what's up, guys? It's me again, here with another tutorial. Um, Super Street Fighter 4 is about to come out, and most likely, if you're a, I don't know, crazy, super geeky, nerdy Street Fighter fan, um, you're thinking about getting an arcade stick, and not those cheap ones, but just a decent one, and then you're gonna mod it. Well, or a real arcade pro EX fully modded and whatnot but I didn't make a tutorial on how to do that well this video will go through that so I'm and it's not gonna be like a video tutorial where you, sh you see me actually modding it this is more like a picture animation tutorial and you'll see what I'm talking about I'm gonna use like a picture folder file thing in what I created and made which consists of about uh, like right here one two three four five six six basic steps on uh, modding your hori arcade stick with uh, sandwa parts push buttons and simitsus and whatever and anyway let's begin part one okay this is probably what you have um, there's probably new models out there and whatnot, but for this tutorial, we're gonna focus on the Hori Real Arcade Pro EX, and this is what probably your <coughs> stick looks like stock, regular. And once we get done with the mod or in the tutorial, it's gonna look like this, except for the bubble top. And yeah, that's a different thing. But right now we're just gonna focus on the buttons. The buttons right now, I'm using the OBSF30 Sanwa push buttons. And here's another picture of it. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, the flash just makes it look brighter. But yeah, try not to pay attention. All right, that's the product. This is what you have right now. This is what we're trying to end up with aside from the ball top, which is different. I'll explain later, but probably, I don't know. Alright, the tools, part two. Alright, first tool here is you're gonna need a 7mm nut screwdriver. Uh huh. Basically, oh yeah, a this part it's optional. It's a three prong grabber injector thing in my bob. Uh, this right here, you're gonna need a number one Phillips head, you know, your standard Phillips head, and once again, the seven millimeter nut screwdriver. It's like a hex shaped thing. Here's more uh, detailed screenshots for you. There's the injector. You push it in, the prongs come out. Here's another view. And that is used basically for grabbing those tiny bolts that we will be working with. Trust me, it's very useful. Again, it's optional, but highly recommended. You see? See those, pick up those tiny little washers. Alright, here's the main uh, tools you're going to need. A flat head for picking out the quick disconnects. The three prong <laughs> grabber thingy in bob. Again, that's optional. A number one Phillips head, you know, standard. And a seven millimeter nut screwdriver all right cool pause if you need to but yeah all right part three opening the case let's find a good picture all right basically you're gonna flip your arcade stick over and you're gonna have or see eight screws one two three you get the picture Basically, you're gonna use your 
number one Phillips head and basically unscrewed out all eight of them. Alright, once you have that done, use the power cable located right there, and you're going to use that to basically push out the bottom metal plate. Alright, it's going to be loose like that. So basically, you all have that out the bottom metal plate. And remember to keep your screws in some sort of container for later. You don't want them like lying around anywhere. Next, you know, you're freaking have a loose screw somewhere you think take forever to find. Okie dokie. And then uh, once you get the bottom plate out, you're gonna go see this from the inside and there are six screws I know you can't see them in the picture but I'm gonna point them out for you there's one right there 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 and there and here's some more detailed pictures of it that's the top left top middle top right bottom right bottom middle this one's balled out. I'll explain that later. Yours will not be balled out if you're modding it for the first time. And that's the bottom left. Alright. Basically, you want to put one finger in the back end of the screw. Use your 7mm hex key. And basically, unscrew it while keeping in place one finger from the back so that screw won't, like, fall off more detailed view yep and there you go you have the screw out and each six section will contain three parts to it the screw the bolt and the washer part thingy I highly recommend putting them all together into one big three piece so you get to put them all together and easier uh, rather than having to pick apart and trying to find the uh, parts to fit in the section all together again and once again put them in a nice container and whatnot and for the top middle part you might have some difficulty trying to get it because it's a really small part so if you didn't already move, remove the power cord pull off to the sides to get to that guy and then you know unscrew that out same thing put your finger behind there boom do that work for all of the uh, six screws and you know see where it comes that three prong grabber thingy comes in handy you get to pull it out easy rather than dig your fingers in that tiny little spot aha yeah and if you have some trouble pushing out the uh, screw uh, use the bottom end of your screwdriver like I did and just punch that sucker out until it gets out and you'll see these probably hanging around don't worry about it just put them off to the side <coughs> we'll work with them later as you can see that's what I'm doing here in this picture yeah Alright, that's basically it for the uh, six screws from the inside. Up to the next part, the top plate handling. Alright, basically uh, turn your stick over and pull your stick out facing towards you, not away from you. See? towards you. The reason for that you put it inwards we got freaking all these wires and stuff tape sticking to it. You don't want to put it the other way because that'll just block it and yeah we don't want to do that. But yeah that's basically the inside of the uh, stick. Alright that's top plate handling. Next part is part 5 which is button removal the main part.